Hello folks and welcome back to By Spring. Here we are in December Seal and we got some of our equipment back, put storage in that. And also it's going around because we've been a little bit busy, money's gone up and down a bit. So first of all we've got the corn hair back and we bought a trailer for it to get into the fields and that. That's gonna be needed. Also we've gone ahead and these a belt system. We release the Groomy SL80 22 Quantum and the base game Lizard S10 S710. And that'd be for a size where we pick that up later on and hand is put on storage. Also, gone is the bell shed. In future we'll just shove our bells into the silo. That's because I want to get some pallet storages in, so go to silos, get a variety of these all done by Omatana. Stone, wood, metal. I think let's go with Ah, I think woods would do nicely for us. There we go. Look at that. But then also what we've got to do is do a quick bit of landscaping. Just tidy all up, so... Where's... Is it concrete? Yep, yeah, it's concrete, so... Perhaps should have done this beforehand. Oh well. Okay, actually, you know what? Forget, we'll just do that. And then we'll just get. Oh, what's the texture for the ground? Ah, there we go, that's what I want. There we go, just tidy up a little bit. And there we go, so. They won't do that. There. There we go. Just got it filled in. We'll tie up properly later on in that. But for now, that just roughly does the job in that for what we need. So to get our money back, we got to sell a few things. So we tab over. We've got to sell Surrey, and also we've got manure to sell. So we go and sell those. Surrey requires a few trips, and we've got the oats, which again requires two trips. And this has got to go to by Spring Mart, if I'm correct. 1899, so basically 1900 quid. And currently it's above the average peak price, so. So 15 grand there, I'm guessing that's from the manure. Yeah, we've got a few things to do. It's going to be an action packed episode of basically expanding the dairy. That's because we've got a lorry leased out as well. We're going to move our cows or calves and that from the open pasture and I've shoveled our cows into the cow pen or the cow barn. And that's because that area there is going to be removed. I don't think you can put some sheep down at some point. But at least for now, that could be a grass field. That's the only land we own at the moment, at least for up. So yeah, we can get that sorted. But yeah, also, for recapping last episode, we bought 28, 91, and 123. 28's got wheat in at the moment, but I'm going to have to think about it over the winter period. Do we want the wheat? Or do we want another crop in instead? I'm thinking we want another crop in. Because we're going to do potatoes, corn now. Because current plan is to do potatoes in the big gra old grass field, like 61, 2, and all that area there. Then I'm thinking 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 4. That could be corn. We do have barley growing on 111. That's what we drilled in two episodes ago, which I actually didn't realise I already done that episode in. That's why when this comes out, 
episode 15 won't be too far behind for being released, but actually that was like recorded like a week ago or two. And I thought I'd ever release that episode, but oops, my bad on that. I think yeah, I got a thing here for like 91 that. I'm looking down there. And I'm thinking all that area down there, all that those little fields there. I just buy a lot of them up and then convert it into a good big old mega field. Why not? So yeah, let me go and get another load of oats, fill the other one back up with Surrey, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards. Go. And actually, it hadn't been too bad of a haul, getting about 22-ish grand per load. And we're just getting the last little bit here, 5,899 litres. Do a quick sell that. Bingo, that is another 648 quid. Every little helps. And yeah, this, this John Deere is a little bit more oof, because in the last episode, even with like the Forge Wagon, which is like a 200 horsepower apartment, and it's like was 305 the minimum, we did take out a small load, which I did forget to mention at the top of the episode. Yeah, another 50 grand though, so around 450, not ideal. The bank street wasn't pleased about that, but we're gonna be paying. I'll say be paying the loan off. I'm not sure now if we do with the whole mega field idea. Then, yeah, I doubt they would let us have a another loan extension, and certainly be putting pressure on us on to pay off the loan. But yeah, John just did well. For two hours on it, and still running like a beat. So got. I put milk in there, I'm going to get the 946 litres of milk that's in here. Because I did say, basically expand the dairy, and one of that it includes getting an actual dairy plant in. There's one just next to Bally Spring Mart, a little dairy place, only 70 grand to purchase, so not too bad. And with that, we can make cheese and butter. And if we get some pants coming in before January or February, then we can get a cheeky sell or two. Worst case scenario is not a big issue. We also move these calves over, as we mentioned. The trader is. Well, I think it holds like 32 cows, so we're going to have to make like 5 trips or so. But yeah, overall, it's going to be worth it. And then, yeah, I'll say that grass area where the cows are at the moment. Uh, 
why am I going this way? I've got no idea. Bear with me a sec. As I was saying, yeah, so see. Pretty much how it all comes together now, especially with the cows and that. Uh, lingering of the TMR issue is lingering over my head. However, I'm thinking of getting some TMR bells in. Actually, we could try it on this episode. I know cameras have got all those bells over there that we've neatly stacked next to the cows. Hopefully, they do munch on them. They shouldn't really because they're all wrapped up in that, but. It's more after a while I come in there making holes in these bells like rats and that. There's only for just another month or two until we're able to sell them. So, Derry, as mentioned, is just up here. Uh, I'll be interested to see what we can make and how quickly it produces goods. There we go. Weighing a half tons. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where we've got to unload, so let's go and buy the business. Yeah, again, I uh, guess in here it's got to go in. I think. Sure, this accepts milk because. Oh, there we go. Just went, just went over it the first time, so. Milk's going in. And we can get chocolate if we had sugar. But we're not going to do that, so. Have a look at the recipes here. Cheese, we're going to get 2400 euros per month. And butter. Just shy of six and a half thousand litres, so not too bad. Six and a half pallets, well, six pallets and two pallets respectively per month. Be good to do chocolate in that, but that requires a sugar meal. And I don't think we have a sugar meal on the map. I think we only got like the spinnery in that over here. Actually, how much is that a sec? Just out of curiosity. Where is it? Two there. Only 60 grand. And we've got his sword wall in here now. Oh, collectible. I'll find some more traders. Actually, I did see one somewhere. Not here. What's over here? Have a look in that. Is there any more around here? Yeah, that's another thing we could do is go around and look for some collectibles. None around here. Oh, there is one there. Go and grab that one. Yeah, so I go around and look for collectibles, and an extra 100 grand here and there will come in handy. Over here, I don't can't find any more. There wouldn't be anything in the fields. What about by the house here? No, nope, can't see anything. No, it was just an idea. Of have a little look. But another one that I have found is we go to here. I think it's around the corner of the back of these houses. Oh, which one is it? There it is, there's one here. Cedar. I'm sure you should be looking in these as well. Yeah, just 
casually hopping through people's gardens, I'm sure they wouldn't mind. I'm sure they understand. at least one more around here. Right, come on. Be nice to me. Nope. Dang it. Oh well, that was just a little quick look for some collectibles. Wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the ones that were around here I've already gone and collected. But are they going to be on the roofs? I don't know. It's like with court farms with some of them being on roofs of houses. All the fit tag me there. But yeah, so with all that done, I think it's time to deal with the cows. So on that note, we've got a Volvo, I think it's the FH16750, yep. <laughs> and yeah, the, the goal is going to be to transfer the cow over, transfer the calves just to speed accordingly to the local speed limits of, I guess it's around 30 miles an hour or it was like 50 kph which is like 30, 32 miles an hour Oops. but yeah so this is the trailer we've got I think we used this before didn't we for the cows and that Weird camera angle there. And yeah, I know we can technically cut across here. But I want to try to see if we can get through the normal way, because that's going to be closed up. Yeah, I just want to think about like, renovating the fields and that, so. There we go. In we go. And bingo! Done that first sight handing cab. It's almost like if I have had practice on it or something. Oh yes, that damn visible collision, which is I'm guessing one of your fences. Okay, that really annoys me that it does. Like it happens from time to time. Is it fine there? Wait. I don't know. bit of a bumpy terrain here, but yeah, I just want to see how much cows it can hold. So we've head over here. There we go. Didn't it hit? Oh, it must have hit it's on the edges. Or something, but anyways, we will open the back. Get the cows loaded on. So yeah, it's 32 cattle per time, so... That's where we'll require another four trips. So yeah, I think what we'll do is... Maybe a quick time lapse of this, we'll see how it looks in editing. But anyways, we'll get these cow transferred over. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
there we go. Got everything eventually transferred over, and we're in January now. Now the cows over here, we realise how much of a sort of lacking in TMR we've got, because we've got 300 cows now. We were at 281, but I thought, heck it, let's get another 19 heifers or Holstein cows in. But God, the amount of food they consume. They consume just over 10,000 litres per hour. So, from our perspective, that's over 200, that's about 244,000 litres a month they consume. We've only got about three months worth of TMR left. Got no shrew, no nothing. We're gonna sell some bells because we need some TMR bells. In. So, righty then, uh, we just had a fucking crash. We did. <laughs> Bloody hell. And that was from literally to start off the episode of all the work we've done so far in this episode. Did not save at all, so I had to redo everything. So I just want to make sure, yep, got the pad storage down, and obviously whilst I was here, did actually a proper job of tweaking this. Money slightly changed, that's because we sold all the manure and surrey that was built up when we put the new cows in. So currently, yeah, they got 100 and f yeah, basically they're full of food. That would last them um, half a day, and straw as well, which is going to be an issue for us. I think for now, what we'll do is just perhaps just buy TMR in. We get a TMR for about, what was it, a grand for 5,500 litre bells? Something like that, so... Got to do the math on that, but I want to see how cost effective that is. Basically, do a cost effective analysis on it. Is it worth it doing the bells? Or should we just buy a bunch of grassland, work with the land, forget about farming, like, and dedicate 75 90 percent of our fields as silage? Because we've got 195 bells from this. Uh, what size are these bells again? 7500, so doing the math, 1.95 mil, so basically about 1.5, 1.6 million litres of silage from what we just done. That's not including the 300,000 litres we got, let's say, let's say a rough estimate, 1.8 mil. So for our cows, that is six months of silage, give or take five, six months, let's say five months. If we just get, gave our cows silage, that's not an issue. However, it's the straw, it's the hay. With that rate, oof, the pedestrians. With that rate of consumption, in that six months we can do silage and hay, and then do another car silage. But then again, it's the straw, so. Worst case scenario, if our plan for the next year of putting potatoes, corn in, and whatever else we decide to put in the ground doesn't work out, we can revert back to tight and have some more fields dedicated for straw work now and slice work. But for now, we're going to sell some of these bells. I know we're going to sell all the bells here. Like I'll try selling them near here, I and mean, we sold like 2,000 litres worth. Pathetic, really, but. Let's aim it going via here. New. No. Oh god, I hate when that happens. Why explode? Why? Oh, okay, this is sort of down to half water loading, I'll admit. Oh, well, I mean, there's faults with the water system. And yeah, pretty much that is all that's going in. There's going to be bells everywhere and. Very sick, what I get is all sorted. 
So yeah, that did not work out too well for us, so... Where's the next best place to sell silage? So we'll get rid of some of these bells and that, at least for now in this episode. Go to prices. Because also we've still got that trailer load to sell as well. We won't sell just some of it, so... 578. 568, that sell everything and um, buy spring garage. So pretty much anywhere, but after this, I think we'll just put it all to sell. Actually, know what? Take it to sell everything because it's easier to deal with. Where I am to unload and un reload and all that, like we did with the contracts at the start of the last episode. Yeah, last episode. So yeah, let's quickly travel down and then sell these bells. So there we are. Let's see how much we get for these bells. Obviously, there's not full 40 bells, obviously, it's all being all like sold and that and bits here and there, but so yeah, 186 grand plus 5 and a bit, 6 grand. Yeah, not too bad. So I think, you know what? Let's go and. Get one more of those bells. I'm not sure how much the TMR bells are going to cost overall. So, yeah, so we sell another bunch of bells. Actually, no. If we wait a sec, let's go and unload the pit. That's going to be a while to fill up, I think, because obviously the old 200,000 new train. Well, I think it'll be worth it. Don't get me wrong, our main money income is going to be the wood chips because we've got like 600,000 litres in storage at the moment. That alone is worth 900 grand. 900 grand, close to a million. But anyway, so. There we go. Now we are unloading. Yeah, I'm just going to convey it all up. I'm not sure how quickly this is filling up though. Ah, uh, it's filling up at a decent rate. But yeah, the Sadi. Oh yeah, I'm not sure about this because the rest of the time it works fine with loading, other times it won't. Yeah, like this time, something in this fill up, so. Not sure if that's an issue with the mods, because it previously that has filled up with everything. All the crop types and that we've got available on this map with all the productions and that. But yeah, now it just doesn't, because for whatever reason. And that's really annoying, that is. So, yeah, with that, may have to wait for an update on that. Or at least, obviously, who's the buy again, and perhaps try to contact the modder and that. Because sometimes it works fine picking up, like, you know, stuff from silos and that. And other times, like, nope. So, you know what? Let's do one more time lapse. Get the bells sold and all the silos sold. And then to run off today, we will buy some TMR bells and see how that works out. Because I've got no idea how it's going to work out for us.
there we go. We've made quite a bit of money, over a million in just silage. And that's the thing, we've still got silage in the silo, and that's 2.3 million a year, so that's going to get us, what, 1.5 mil, give or take. So, we've still got time to sell even more silage, but we'll do that in the next episode because we've got a lot of things to sell. Like, main thing is wood chips at the moment. And that's just another 91 grand. Environment score is down because everything's been harvested and all that, so maybe not the best time to sell, but uh, you know what? Heck it, screw it all. It's fine. Especially when we see the grass and that in March. I do want to reapply because we're going to re-drill to the grass because I want to get the environment score up to 100. And to do that, we need to mulch the fields, mulch it, direct drill, not shallow cultivating, because that will give us a, I think it's like a negative 10 compared to, or negative 5, compared to what you can get at the maximum. Actually, we can have a look here in the help section. Because, yeah, well, I've been using Precision Farm for some time now, but still struggling bits here and there, so... Precision farming, environment score, if you go down here, at the bottom, tillage, so plowing, yada yada yada, you get zero points, shallow tillage, so, so shallow cultivation, will says as the following, shallow tillage with the incorporation of crop residue saves fuel, reduces erosion and is rewarded with five points. Minimum tillage and direct seeding gives a maximum score of 10. So when it says minimum tillage, I'm assuming it's direct seeding, but it says tillage and direct seeding. Because if we have a look in our tools, so in theory, plows, that'll get you zero. Cultivation. I'm assuming it's five, but it says shallow tillage, and this is a shallow cultivator. That says you'll get five, or is that part of it? I'm going to read up into that. that is, that's going to be just a quick research, like a five minute research on a video or something. So, yeah, we're currently at one. 0.4 million with size we've got in silo that's gonna be another like how much have we got in there at the moment it's like 2.3 mil or something 2.35 mil so with that we should get what 1.25 mil give or take just from silage but the main thing is going to be from the wood chips. So, obviously, you got like 640 ish thousand litres. Now, if you have a look at wood chips, even throughout the year, it's a very good time to sell. So, good prices, wood chips currently at 1600 per thousand litres. Yeah, it's just over the peak price at Buy Spring Garage and sell everything. So, so when we do the wood chipping, we could get, this should get millions of, just from wood chips. So, I think to round off the episode, we will go over here. Yeah, we really should be going over our fields. Yeah, well, fields do need to be Side it, get rid of the weeds. We'll also do that at the start of the next episode to help with the environment score and that. Perhaps that would help us as well. Get a few extra points here and there. But yeah, we sold the pasture and that. And that was what? Something in the region of 45 grand. So yeah, not too bad. Also, 
since it's got new cows, we've got rid of some of the fences now. Give us better access, and yeah, we've got all these trees here. And I think like some of these are like the big ones, which you get like 20,000 litres of wood chips per tree. But perhaps I shouldn't have returned the sun grinder, but oh well. What I actually want to do is here afterwards because this goes directly into a grass field, so perhaps. And these trees, oh yeah, I can actually cut them low, so. Maybe that's an idea. Ah, yeah, these are spruces, so these are easier to work with, so. Compared to the oaks. The oaks, they're alright. If you get more of these from the oaks, but. I see they're also problematic with just being able to wood chip and that. Also, actually, whilst I'm heading to this, I'm also listening to the audio and I think it hasn't been repowered to my voice now with the sound of the machines going. It's really shot fritzing. Should we attach the trailer? Struggling with that spruce tree we cut down, like that, that worked fine. But spruce, boy, we had to constantly chop that up to get it to under 200k rounds to handle it and move it into position. But oh, yeah, no idea on that, to be honest, really. Not sure how this is working. We need some grinder, actually. Go to it though. There we go. And we'll just go over to the trailer. Get that tipped in. Dumped in. And that would done fine, so. Yeah, not sure. Just 
fell the edges of the tree. And just cut it from the base. Also, cut right to the ground, like scored into the ground. And that's the thing with these pesky trees, that's, these are like the hard ones to do, in fairness, but still. a bit more work to do. I'm probably not going to get as much as I thought I was going to get, but still, I am optimistic with how much we get. I'm still going to get millions from it, like a full 250,000 litre load. That's going to be over 380 grand still. So I'm not complaining at all. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, first just to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.